When you're on the court, if you ever feel like you're stuck in the mud, stuck in cement when you're moving around, we've got a great drill to make you feel more natural and dynamic. It's called the McEnroe Movement Drill. Today we've got our special guest, Jeff Salzenstein from Tennis Evolution, who's going to be teaching this drill. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited to be here. Thanks so much for that intro. Let's get into that McEnroe Movement Drill. And before I bring Kirby in, I wanna give a little context. I'm 30 years old. I'm in Poland in February, it's freezing cold, and I am struggling with my tennis. I lose that match, I get on a flight to London, and I work with Peter Fleming, John McEnroe's doubles partner, number one in the world. And he watches me play tennis for 30 minutes in London. He's like, what are you doing with your movement? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you're static on every shot. You're, you're, you're stepping in, you're not move, moving. I want you to move through every single shot, even the shots that you're supposed to be set on. Now, I know this goes against uh, the grain. It's not traditional coaching where you're supposed to get set on every ball, but if I can help you move dynamically around the court, your game is going to go to the next level. I love teaching footwork and I want to get going with that right now. Let's bring Kirby in to help us with some mini tennis dynamic movement. So when I work with players and we get going with mini tennis, I see a lot of this and there's nothing really wrong with it. Just standing there hitting the ball, not really dancing, pretty flat footed. And this is pretty common, but I really want Kirby to exaggerate her footwork right now. I want her to focus on moving through every shot. So that could be what I call a karaoke footwork pattern, a lift and land, a run through. I know these are terms you don't know yet, but let's see her move through the ball, kind of jog through every shot. That's it. And so we're working on moving up and back. That is going to help you understand how to create the right space when you hit the ball. It's going to help you adjust because a lot of times players get set, they get set too early. We want those feet active, we wanna be moving as we're doing this. And this is a great place to start because the ball's moving slow. And I love what Kirby's doing here with her movement. She's very active and again, I like the movement up and then the movement back. Once you get going with this, once you start to understand how to move this way, then we can move it back to the baseline. And let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, now we're back at the baseline and Kevin from Essential Tennis is gonna demo for us. And we're gonna focus on moving through every shot at the baseline. Now, this is an exaggerated drill. I'm all about exaggeration when you wanna learn a new concept. Remember, John McEnroe and Peter Fleming used to practice this 30 minutes a day. That's what Peter told me. And it really helped their movement. It really helped their doubles. And it helped their singles movement. Helped them to be able to dynamically move through the ball with balance. Again, you're not going to do this at the baseline all the time. This is just a drill to learn on, uh, work on moving through the ball. So Kevin's going to go ahead and demonstrate and he's going to practice going off of different legs. So again, it doesn't matter if he makes it or he misses it. He's focusing more on his feet right now. He hops off the front foot there. He's off the back foot there, the outside leg. Again, he's going to look for a backhand when it comes to his backhand. But the key again, yes, off of the outside leg there, it's moving and learning to move up and back and left and right and not just being static. There's a rhythm to this, it's a dance. Tennis is a dance, movement is a dance around the court. And again, if you can develop this, this habit when you're playing, you're certainly going to go to the next level with your movement. You'll find that you'll develop more uh, more rhythm, more balance, better timing when you hit the ball when you practice this drill at least a couple times a week. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to focus on going to the net and seeing what John McEnroe used to do at the net as well. Again, it's all about the dynamic movement, understanding how to move through your shots. That's the key to playing successful, successful tennis as you move up to the next level. Time to come to the net. And this is where John McEnroe made his living, the McEnroe movement drill. And if you can picture how John McEnroe moved to the net after a serve, his serve and volley, and then once he did come to the net, everyone said he moved in a very unorthodox, unconventional way, and yet he was probably the best of all time. Well, guess what? Roger Federer, Stefan Edberg from years ago, they all moved in a similar fashion. And what they do when they come to the net is they don't just step and stop. They actually step and move through. They use different footwork patterns. You'll see John McEnroe, you know, you've seen this one before. 
You know, I'm not saying you should go out and do that tomorrow, but the key is to understand that moving through shots is one of the master keys to elevating your game. And I know you want to improve, so we owe it to you to show you this information so you can get out and practice it. So the key, again, is to move through your volleys. So that ball, I went and got that ball, and I'm moving, okay? And I'm very active with my feet. I'm not standing and letting the ball come to me like this, okay? I'm going to the ball and I'm moving forward. Again, tennis is not about just moving left and right. It's about understanding how to move up and back, whether you're at the net or whether you're at the baseline. I'm gonna bring Ian in right now, another fellow lefty. Yeah. He told me he wanted to be like John McEnroe for a minute, so we obliged him. We're gonna have him move through his volleys. Notice how he's moving up and back. We can actually, Ian, move you back a little bit. So we'll move, yes, there we go. And now you can move through. There could be stepping through, there could be jumping through. Excellent work, nice little karaoke footwork pattern there. If you don't know the terms of my footwork patterns, that's okay. A lot of our members over at Tennis Evolution love learning this footwork. That, I saw that, that was a John McEnroe jump right there. Very graceful, very athletic. Look at that move away from the ball. All right, Ian, tell me what you notice. Tell me how this aligns with either the way that you teach or what, you're, what you feel. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like the word you used earlier, which is dynamic. There's just a good continuous flow of energy and movement to it as opposed to kind of preparation phase and hitting phase where everything is very static. Uh, yeah, it's a very holistic approach to learning tennis and learning movement. And again, I love teaching footwork and it's been a real honor to be able to make this video for the Essential Tennis channel. So thanks so much, Ian. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, make sure you guys check out Jeff's channel. Make sure you subscribe. It's a tennis evolution. We'll have a button right here on the screen somewhere where you can click. Jeff, thank you so much. It was really awesome, it. awesome making these videos with you.